Hi, everyone. Welcome to Game Changers. My name is Kelly Kellner, host and executive producer, and welcome to our NFL show for week 10. A big week coming up. Some great spots, some great value. I've been excited about this week and this show for a few days now because when I started to handicap these lines and look at what some of the matchups are, man, I got excited about a few games and excited about a few things is Joe D'Amico live from Las Vegas. Now, a perfect 10 in week 10. 10. Bo Derek used to be the perfect 10. I think it's you now, Joe D'Amico. <laughs> Are you going to remake the movie with you running down the beach in that nice little one piece? Yeah, I don't have the hair for the corn rolls, but I'll do the best I can in the one piece. Kelly, I'm excited about NFL Sunday. Last Sunday, I'm a little pissed off. I lost one game, four and one for the day. But that one game pisses oh. me off. Uh, and I had the game one, and I and I, you know, I do hope the Ravens all catch chlamydia. But um, this weekend, I settle for nothing less than perfection. Anybody that follows me. Come with me, guys, but grab a broom because we're going to sweep the board on Sunday. Sunday looking great. Uh, you got the Buffalo Bills uh, minus 12 and a half at the New York Jets. Laying double digits uh, uh, against the Jets has been a consistently uh, strong theory, although the last couple of weeks the Jets have shown a little bit of power in turning around. Are you looking at laying the wood with Buffalo this week? Well, Kelly, just for the record, I'm not a big fan of laying nearly two touchdowns with any NFL team, but – when you're touted as the AFC's top team coming off the most embarrassing loss of the campaign and you're playing the Jets, my friends, things change drastically for me. The AFC A East race is much closer than many anticipated. And with other conference representatives like the Titans and the Ravens sporting just two losses apiece, the three loss Bills must make a move here, sports fans. My friends, Ken O'Brien, Richard Todd, and even Joe Namath could be under center for New York, and they will still struggle to put points on the damn board. The Jets Avril average a laughable 18 points per game, and now they've got to face a pissed-off Bills defense that topped the league in just about every major category. Coming off their poorest offensive output since late December 2019, Kelly, Six points was the worst output they had since late December 2019 when they pulled all their starters against the Jets. Josh Allen and the Buffalo offense will go out to make a statement here. And what a statement it will be against the NFL's biggest doormat. Here comes some ATS numbers for you, my friends. The Bills 3-0-1, the last four following an ATS loss. 5-1-1, the last seven versus teams with a losing record. 9-2-1, the last 12 in the month of December. Excuse me, month of November. I would give you some Jet stats. But you'll also need a box to clean us because they are sorrowful. Listen, I don't like laying nearly double double digit, nearly two touchdowns, or let alone double digits in the NFL. But the Bills have to come out and make a statement here this week, guys. Lay the wood; they're going to get you paid. As an expert on uh, laying uh, laying wood, we're going to go with that play. We're going to go with that pick. I'm going to be in Las Vegas, uh, and I'm going to be uh, uh, putting some uh, putting some money down on that side. I play. I, I know you don't like the crazy way that I play. I love your strategy, old school brick and mortar. Hammer the game, play it, own it, handicap it, win it, spend the money, pay a little Prince X task tax. When you win some money, my friends, here's the best sports betting advice I'm going to give you. And Joe, I bet you'll back me up on this. Pay a little princess tax. Go to the pretty dress store. Go to the tennis bracelet store. So your girl's happy cheering for you while you're sitting there. Maybe she's going to bring you a beer and get involved because you're on the game and you're investing. You're investing in the ones that you love, and that's what we do. I like investing in some great action on this Sunday night game. This is a big game coming up. Kansas City Chiefs minus two and a half going into the Las Vegas Raiders. It's almost like that two and a half point line. You know, teasing you to bet. Is it a trap, or is that the value in this handicapping situation? Well, Kelly, I also want to address all our female bettors out there because they're becoming very significant yes. in the sports betting industry. For all you ladies out there that are better yes. than your men at picking winners or follow me, Kelly, and New York Pele, and you're getting our winning place, go to get some Prince tax, too. Go buy your boyfriend a jersey or a whatever or a meal. Take him out. He deserves it, too, just like you deserve it if he's following us. Let's talk this game, Kelly. Just like me, folks, I'm going to keep this analysis very sweet and very short. Guys, Kansas City is going to make a run at the playoffs. Then they must start here, and they must start now. After this week, they have Dallas and Denver on deck. So they need some wins, and more importantly, they need some self-confidence. Despite their offensive numbers dipping a bit, the Chiefs' defense Guys, they've tightened up a lot. They allow just 15 and a half points a game over the last four outings. Let's be honest, the Las Vegas offense sputters badly when facing aggressive defenses. I know they picked up the Sean Jackson, 
But guys, he's not a kid anymore. And besides, if he was that good, you think LA would have kept wouldn't have kept him around? Guys, he's done. He's a has been. He'll get a couple of catches. I get it. The crowd will roar, but that's that, okay? Guys, two star players uh and a coach are all gone within the last few weeks for the Raiders. Distractions, distractions, distractions. This is a real chance for KC to leapfrog a few teams in the AFC West, Kelly. And Andy Reid isn't going to mess that up. This is a very short price for the Chiefs to lay. For, I mean, they've taken six of the last seven meetings in this straight up. I like laying under a field goal here. I think they get it done. Follow me, and we'll beat our bookmakers together, guys. I uh, I, I tend to, to like that analysis. I've been very, very surprised in uh, uh, in watching in watching Mahomes and watching the Kansas City offense. Just so many times over the last few weeks and so many plays, you expect him to be able to scramble out of situations, to make the big plays, and he hasn't been doing that to date this season. I think you're right. I agree 100% with your handicapping and the fact that this situation, this is a game-changing moment for the season for the Kansas City Chiefs. And yeah, I don't know. I always get, you know, looking at the plus the two and a half and three and a half point lines, and I'm going, are these bookmakers, is, are, is this a trap? Is this like the Star Wars? It's a trap coming in, protecting after the Death Star. But uh, I, I think the Chiefs in this situation, I agree with you, are going to uh, are going to put some uh, are going to put a hell of an effort in. Uh, should be a should be an exciting game. Uh, exciting things coming up. We're going to be back after a 15 second break with New York Pelly. Get his analysis on this week's NFL. Joe D'Amico, thank you. We'll bring you back in at the end of the show. The best bets are not on Wall Street. GameChangers.ca, the ultimate source for sports betting information. Well, that's right. GameChangers.ca is the place you want to be. Make it a habit. Go there every day. Check out the ticker. Watch our free picks every day. Joe D'Amico, New York, Kelly, and myself put out a free play. Bet these games. We are on these games. We are betting them. Make some money and then come in and buy our premium packages because that's where we're showing our fans, how to make big, big money, make great strategic betting decisions. And New York, Pele, coming into us here live this week. Pele, I like the NFL matchups this weekend. Joe gave us a couple of great games in the Bills and the Chiefs. Definitely laying wood. Uh, I know that uh, you're a little bit older. You're not uh, You're not a big a fan of laying wood, despite all of the uh, Viagra and supplements on the market. Let's talk about taking some points with the Cleveland Browns. At the New England Patriots this weekend, Patriots are a favorite at home, but Cleveland's got a nice look on this team here right now. Are you on? Uh, you're on Cleveland this weekend. Oh, I'm all over Cleveland. Uh, New England. It, they've been playing better than I really thought they would with Matt Jones, the quarterback. But Cleveland Browns. This is the kind of game they can win. New England doesn't have uh, that guy Tom Brady anymore. So uh, in, in a close game, I actually like Cleveland here. Uh, taking the one and a half is fine. I mean, I, they'll probably win by a touchdown. I, I like this game a lot. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I had this circled. I uh, I've been disappointed with the Patriots all season. I've been making money by being on the other side of the Patriots uh, in many games and many situations. So uh, definitely leaning to your side. I love when we have consensus within the team. Uh, what I've found, and we've been doing this. You and I have been talking games before we even started doing this show, and before we started building the Game Changers website a few years ago. You and I, I got shit. We go back twenty plus years talking games, talking strategies, and. Uh, when we have consensus before we talk, that always shows me that that's the side to be on. We like to bet against the public. We like to take points. So plain and simple. Now, you've got a great package up. These free games that you've got are, are, are definitely good games. But the premium plays, premium packages really are crushing it. Making big money, college basketball and college football, you have been doing so, so well. I'm documenting and we're putting up our results. If you go to gamechangers.ca, you look after our profiles, you can see our record. You can go back, watch every video, every show that we've been doing for the last God knows how long. Results matter and we play what we say. Let's talk about the second game that you've got, though. Seattle plus three at the Green Bay Packers. Um, Aaron uh, Aaron Rodgers controversy. Is that playing into a little bit into this? Uh, what are you thinking about why is uh, why is the dog decide to play on this one? He's eligible to play, although I don't know if he will. He can't come back until uh, I think he officially he can come back on Saturday. So he'll be playing most likely. I would imagine he's going to be a little rusty. Uh, Seattle gets Russell Wilson back this week. They are going to be very tough. Uh, I, I don't like Green Bay. I think that uh, uh, 
the quarterback, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I think he'd be better off uh, hosting Jeopardy this week. I think that Seattle is going to beat them, and I think Green Bay is going to start losing. I think they had a lot of problems with that team right now. Uh, I may be wrong, but and you may get better than three. You may get three and a half or four in this game. But I will be playing the money line. I will be betting uh, Seattle, obviously, plus three. And I want to just let everybody know, I am 4-1 and one in NCAA basketball after two days. I don't generally come with this many games, but I had five games in two nights, 4-1. and one. This is what I do. This is my sport, NCAA basketball. Buy the package for the year. It's the greatest thing in the world. I bet every one of these games. This is where I make all of my money. This is where I'm able to buy my black uh, T-shirts. Because of college oh, very basketball. Nice. Well, well, being it's amazing that college basketball is your sport. Being uh, being a uh, uh, all of uh, five foot two, uh, but I guess uh, I guess in the uh, Jewish seniors' home, I bet uh, you're you're probably the center, the starting center for the uh, for the golden age uh, warriors that you got there. Pele, buddy, I love you, my friend. You are the I best. A happy you. belated birthday, November 9th. This guy turned 87 years old. It's hard to believe <laughs> by looking at him. Happy yeah. birthday, brother. I love you. You're the best. My birthday coming up, you know, you and I, we crush November uh, Scorpios. My birthday, Wednesday, November 18th. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is a little rusty. So is the stir we're going to be seeing in uh, Las Vegas. Her name is Rusty. She's been around for a few years. Let's bring Joe D'Amico back in. Let's talk about the game that I'm looking at and loving this weekend in NFL, uh, week number 10. And I'm looking, gentlemen, at this Tennessee Titans hosting the New Orleans Saints. Ever since I was in New Orleans about a month and a half ago, I have had a love for this city and a love for this team, and they have been doing me well. They are 5-3 and three against the 7-2 and two, uh, New, York, uh, New Orleans Saints, but Winston is out for the Saints. They've got two quarterbacks that they've got that they're going to be playing, but these are two teams that are going in different directions right now. I think that Tennessee at home is an absolute value play that you got to be on. You're laying only three points. This is going to be a beautiful spot. If I wasn't in Vegas this weekend, I'd be grabbing a few friends and heading down to uh, to Nashville to check this game out. And boys, I think we need a road trip. I think we need to take the Game Changers show on the road. We're going to go to the George Jones Pub, which is right overlooking the river and the stadium. There's a couple of great uh, bartenders there. Those girls can make a lemon drop shot like you have never tasted before. So we're going to go there one of these days. We're going to take and win some money. I'm taking you boys on the road. We'll have a few of our fans come out and join us. Maybe we'll do a little contesting. But gentlemen, uh, big week this week. Uh, just finishing off this uh, this analysis of Tennessee, uh, uh, Tennessee, New Orleans. You know, uh, Atlanta beat New Orleans 20, uh, 27-25 last weekend. Uh, but, the uh, you know, Tennessee uh, Tennessee beat the Rams 28-16. I had that game. I won money on that game. So take the uh, take the Tennessee Titans, lay the points. Uh, Joe, you're on the, a couple of favorites, the Bills and the Chiefs. Uh, New York Pele, you're, uh, you're taking a couple of dogs in Cleveland and Seattle. Joe, final comments on this week, uh, week number 10 going into the NFL. Guys, proven, proven winners, documented. 17 years, you know, you do something once, you do something twice, you're lucky. Do it for 17 years, documented. I have more college football, pro football, baseball, college and pro uh, basketball handicapping champions than any five guys in this business combined. Combined. The numbers are documented. It speaks for itself. I walk it like I talk it. I bet every game I put out, I'm one of the biggest daily sports better in Vegas. You follow me, and I promise you, I'll supplement your income. I can't take a $100 player, Kelly, and make him a million dollars, but I can supplement everybody's income out there and make you a better life. Follow me over at Game Changers. You get all my winners. I've been a client. I've been a fan uh, for many, many years, almost 20 years. I am very proud to call you a, a very, very dear friend. I look forward to getting together and having dinner with you in Las Vegas this weekend. Not only are you an expert and an al analysis and, and just your insight into not only sports betting, but the consulting you do to the Victoria's Secret line for the new lines of Braun Panties coming out, masterful, masterful, the Christmas collection. I love the sparkles you put on there. Speaking of sparkles, New York Pele. Tell me what you're liking about this weekend and tell me why we should buy your plays. I've got two two very, very strong games in the NFL. I, I'm not that thrilled about this weekend, but I got two very strong games. You have to be selective. The, some of these games are a little tough, but uh, I, I think if you find my pack, it's $50 for two winners. It, we're, we win in every sport. 
all of us, all of us have a winning record in every sport. So uh, come along, come to Game Changers and buy our uh, premium picks, but get the free ones too. Brilliant, brilliant, well said. And listen, there's a lot of people that talk a lot of shit in this industry, a lot of people that brag. You can go back two, three, four years, watch every video that we've ever done. We play what we say, results matter. We're here to help you make money. Because when we make you a bunch of money, and you come and hook up with us, we want you to buy a bunch of cocktails for us because we're fun guys to hang out with. Joe D'Amico, a pleasure as always. My life is better because you're in it. New York, Pella, you've been a blessing to me since we've been friends for over 20 years. To all of our friends and all of our fans and all of our viewers, we love you very much. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, follow, retweet. Do everything you can in social media to help us get more viewers, more followers. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. Thank you very much, everybody. Week 10 coming up in NFL. Get yourself in the game. We'll talk to you real soon. I'm Kelster Maney on behalf of Joe D'Amico in New York County. We'll see you next time.